open the statement for it. <laughs> <laughs> no. 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 But, I mean, you were Keontae the recruit for seemingly forever. What's it like to finally be Keontae the, the college football player? Um, it's great, you know. Um, you know, the process was very long. It started out at a very young age. Um, you know, just to get here, you know, it's been amazing, you know, to be around the guys, um, you know, to practice, you know, to be in the facilities all the time. You know, it's, I'm, I'm used to saying it, but, you know, being here every day and being able to, you know, uh, be able to take, actually take it in and enjoy it as a player is really amazing. Coach was talking a lot about your middle, like, one to absorb and be a sponge. For you, what was coming in, sort of, what was your approach? Like, what do you do to kind of focus and, and, and get better? Yeah, it's just always been that way. Um, you know, I just always want to get better um, in the opportunity where I can. How is this experience? Is it what you wanted to get out? Is this what you were looking forward to? And, and how was it maybe different than what you might have expected starting college football? Um, probably what, what was like the experience of your expectations for SEC football now that you're actually here? How are they different or the same? Um, I really didn't have certain expectations. Um, you know. Um, I was just ready to get here. Um, you know, I kind of knew that it was obviously, you know, college was going to be fast, so it was going to move a lot quicker. You know, practice was going to be harder. And so, um, but you know, I didn't have like a set mindset going into um, how practice was going to be. Coach Yenzer said he, he wants you and everybody that comes in to, to prepare like you're going to play on Saturdays this fall. What, what, what do you have to, to do to improve to, to be game ready? Um, I would say my consistency, um, just being cons more consistent overall in everything that I do. Is, is it the level of competition? How, how has that changed from? <laughs> um, it's not necessarily the level of competition, uh, just everything, uh, just, you know, how I prepare myself, you know what I'm saying? Everything um, in the classroom, out of the classroom, on the field, off the field, um, just all, all of that stuff. Is there uh, anything that kind of makes you excited when you get to kind of test your skills against some people that are kind of, nobody's quite <laughs> as big as you are out here, but you know what I'm saying? They're, there's some bigger people at the college level that you get to go out and work against. Um, I would say um, playing better competition, is that what you mean? Yeah, just bigger, more physically capable of giving you a good test. Oh, I, I love it. You know what I'm saying? I love to compete. Um, I feel like it brings the best out of me. That's the, um, when I'm being challenged. That's, that's when I play with That's when I'm at the best. When I'm being challenged, that's when I'm at, at my best. Coach said that it's important, and he's seen this in all of y'all, about people come into this building excited and, and, and ready to work and having fun at what they're doing. How would you describe, I mean, you kind of touched on that earlier, <clears throat> about enjoying the process. Talk a little bit about, do you have fun when you get here? Like, it's good. Oh, yes, 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 yes. It's extremely fun. Um, you know what I'm saying? They find ways to make uh, practice fun, enjoyable, and, uh, and also being able to you know, continue to work and get better every day and compete. How about the playbook? Is it as complicated as you thought it would be? Um, yes, yes. Um, actually, honestly, I thought it would have been a little bit harder. Um, but, you know what I'm saying, this is exactly what I thought it was going to be. How similar is it to what you expected with, you know, before Coach Yenzer and Coach Rich got here? Um, this is it's very similar um, to uh, how – my bad, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, it's very similar. A whole lot of stuff didn't change. Just a couple of stuff. Um, you know, uh, most of it's uh, similar, but you know, uh, just a couple uh, word changes here and there. And uh, so it really wasn't a big jump between you know what I'm saying the changes between the coaches. There's a lot of talk about just how are the tackles going to do. You got to replace guys like Dare and Derry and. Um, is it exciting to, to have that opportunity to, to try to earn, earn a spot on Saturday? Uh, yes, yes. Uh, we're, we're just focused on, you know what I'm saying, trying to get better and just put the best guys out there. What's it like just being in the room with, with Coach Yenzer? Um, it's great. You know, he's high energy. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he, wants, <laughs> he, wants, he wants the best guys out there and he wants the best of us. What was Coach Yenzer's first impression of meeting you and I don't know if he – did he think he was going to walk into a room and have a 6'8 guy, a 6'8 model? <laughs> Um, well, he said he's uh, watched some of the film. You know, he said he had some watch some of the, the, the guys' high school tapes. You know, to get a good feel for us. Um, um, but really, uh, I can't really necessarily say what his first impression was because uh, I, I wasn't there when he watched the film. <laughs> 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 um, but um, he, he's definitely, you know, just trying, just trying to find the best guys. What was day one like of, of spring practice, and where do you feel like 
up till today, where have you come along with your purpose? Um, I definitely feel like I ended spin ball at my best. Um, when I first started, yeah, my head was still spinning, uh, you know, uh, just coming off of a high school playbook uh, and not into a college playbook and uh, college practice, uh, you know, uh, just, you know, still, you know, looking around, uh, trying to make sure I was doing everything right. Um, when you're going up against the, the defensive line, who's, who is it when you're going that, that is the most fun in kind of those battles in the trenches? He knows a thing or two about getting after the pass rusher. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, Coach Hinter and Coach Scandarello both have NFL backgrounds, especially Coach Rich. What, what does that mean to you as a player? I mean, I assume that's where you'd like to be someday. What does that mean to be coached by guys who have that NFL background? Um, you know, it's amazing. Um, it's great, um, actually. Uh, Trent Williams is uh, my uh, favorite offensive tackle in the league. So having two guys that work with him, I'm able to ask them a lot of questions. Um, you know, stuff that you know make him as great as he is. Um, obviously, you know, I've watched a lot of his film and stuff, trying to bring as much of his game into minds. Um, but having you know two guys that work with him, you know, for the last couple of years is amazing. Have you been like phoning him for trans <laughs> <laughs> Uh No, 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 no uh, not really. I've, I've talked to uh, Trent a few times uh, over over the few years, over the years. I uh, went to a couple guys that uh, you know I had one, I had a chance to talk to him, and just had a chance to ask him a lot of great questions. Another really big guy, Trent. You know, what what have you borrowed from what you've seen on tape there? Um, I would say probably um, just like you know his independent hands um, and his down block. That's some of the things that I've uh, to brought into my game a lot. Right. Pretty good out of bed. <laughs> Pretty good out of bed. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>